Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Fernando. I am the owner and denturist here at Cajun Denture Clinic. Uh, I have been practicing denturism for the past 15 years. Um, in my journey, I have also taught uh, uh, denturism students, uh, as well as I am a, a board of director for my association. So I'm, I'm extremely involved in the profession. Uh, and now I am here with uh, Nancy. Uh, trying to provide as much education and information as, uh, as we can to you, the patient. Go ahead, Nancy. Hi, everyone. I'm Nancy Esty, and I'm a holistic nutritionist who has a background in yoga and functional nutrition. And my practice is located right here in Dunsford in the city of Kortha Lakes. And I've been in clinical practice for the last 20 years, and I specialize in gut and hormone health um, because it is a, there's a huge relationship between your gut and your hormones, and in fact, even your immunity. So today we're gonna to be diving into a topic that I think uh, both Fernando and I have come across quite often. I know as a nutritionist, this is a question that I get all the time, and this is a common issue, but I think sometimes we're not even quite sure that this is even happening. So we thought that we would um, share some information with you and um, about um, acid reflux and heartburn and GERD. And I'm sure Fernando has some experience with that in his clinic. Uh, all the time, it happens all the time. I see patients that, are, uh, that have their denture teeth worn uh, and they don't understand why they can't, they're not able to chew their food properly. And then of course, uh, they always tell me that they have to take antacids, mm -hmm. um, and then and then I start coming, you know, bringing all uh, all this together and telling them that it's not just a matter of going to the doctor, getting a pill or getting a prescription filled out, and the problem's going to go away. Uh, so one of the reasons that we're both here together is to uh, get to the root cause, uh, let people understand. Uh, why things happen and how we can go ahead and uh, prevent this um, and avoid it. Um, and from mm -hmm. my point of view, uh, obviously, is if you wear a denture, then yes, uh, the denture teeth, I always tell my patients, is like a tire in a car. Once mm -hmm. you wear the threads of that tire, you cannot, you cannot drive anymore. You're not able to, to use it functionally anymore. Same thing happens with your denture teeth. Once you wear them out, you're not able to grind your food properly. At that point, you're just chomping and chomping does not, does not lead to uh, digestion of the food, which starts in the mouth. That's right. Of course, a lot of people, they, they say, oh, well, my, you know, my food is soft and I'm good to go. And they are definitely correct. Uh, what happens is once the food is in the mouth, saliva starts to be produced and saliva does have enzymes that allow for the, for the, the softening of the food. But all of that goes along with being able to grind your food accordingly because that's what we as uh, human beings are supposed to do. We grind with our teeth, uh, mm -hmm. obviously the back teeth, uh, and uh, that's how digestion starts. Um, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But they miss that. and. Most of the time, people, my patients do assume that dentures last forever, but nothing lasts forever in life. And of course, they end up with uh, some serious health risks down, down the road because nothing happens right away. Yeah. Uh, and um, so, so, yeah, so this now ties into you, Nancy, uh, being the nutritionist. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so, so like you said, you know, um, that digestion starts in your mouth, right? So that saliva is producing amylase, which is an enzyme. And some medications uh, that we're taking even reduce the amount of saliva in our mouth. So right away, you know, if we're not chewing, we don't have uh, the teeth aren't there, our dentures aren't being taken care of, and we have dry mouth. So we're not producing sufficient amount of salivary amylase. And so when we eat, the food's gonna travel down your esophagus and it's gonna go down into your stomach. So the stomach is going to secrete something called hydrochloric acid or HCL for short. And this hydrochloric acid is necessary because it helps us to activate enzymes and together with pepsin, it's going to 
um, help us to digest our food, especially our proteins. And, it, and more importantly, that's how we extract the nutrients from our food so that we can absorb, right? And if we have trouble in that department and we have symptoms of heartburn or acid reflux, in fact, some individuals don't even feel heartburn or acid reflux, but do experience indigestion, right? So they might be bloated, they might be belching a lot after food. They may find that they just take a few bites of food and they have a sense of fullness, even though they haven't even eaten their meal. Um, other symptoms would include, um, for instance, a really good way to identify if something's going on in your stomach uh, and you have these symptoms of acid reflux is to take a look at your fingernails. Your fingernails, believe it or not, are going to reveal if there's something going on in your stomach. And again, this relates to what's happening up in your mouth. So in other words, if a person or uh, one of your patients is complaining of acid reflux or heartburn or any of the symptoms that we just covered, and it actually is an indication, and you're gonna be surprised by this, that there's actually too little stomach acid, not wow. too much. And so mainstream conventional medicine is going to suggest that we have too much acid, which is actually a myth. What's mm -hmm. really happening is that the stomach has to produce sufficient acid, but seniors are most greatly affected because as we age, our natural production of stomach acid declines significantly. By the time you get to 70, it goes to 20% production. Wow. So when the food enters the stomach and it, we want to break that down along with the enzymes, well, that's not being broken down. So it's incomplete digestion. And then if there's not enough stomach acid, there's like a flap in there. It's called the lower esophagus uh, sphincter, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like a door. So then if there's not enough stomach acid, the door opens up and that undigested food gets pushed up and then it comes up. So it can be up in your stomach, it can be in your chest, it can be all the way in your throat. It can come all the way up and even damage your vocal cords, right? And then right. you'll see it in the teeth, right? And so what that is a sign of is that an underactive stomach. In, so it's actually low stomach acid. So one of the ways you can identify, other than just those symptoms of heartburn, because not everyone feels that, is to look at your nails. So if you take a look at your fingernails, you wanna see if they are thin, if they're peeling or cracking. You also wanna take a finger and just run your finger across your nail bed and to see if these nail beds are smooth. Um, do they have ridges on them? And if you observe your fingernails, do they have any white spots on any of your nails? So those are some indicators of an underactive stomach or insufficient hydrochloric acid because there we're not digesting mm -hmm. and we're not absorbing nutrients and it shows up in your nails. Wow. And some key nutrients that we would be low in, uh, for instance, would be low B12. And B12 is something that we make in the gut. So if we don't have enough stomach acid, you're not gonna have enough vitamin B12. And that's really important, especially with our senior population, because B12 helps to lower homocysteine, which is like an, um, which helps to manage inflammation and is associated with heart disease. And um, low B12 will also cause memory issues, uh, poor energy, and even depression. And uh, as I mentioned, low energy and fatigue, and even balance issues and wow. memory wow. issues, cognitive decline. Um, other nutrients that will be affected, uh, when I said to look at to see if you have white spots, that's an indication of low zinc, okay? And zinc is a mineral, and again, we need that acid to absorb that mineral. And zinc is really important for wound healing. So if you're finding that you have a cut or maybe you're diabetic and you're getting lesions and, and you're not healing really well, it's perhaps because you don't have enough zinc or osteoporosis and you know not enough calcium and magnesium. 
again, those nutrients will be affected and we won't be able to absorb them effectively because of the low stomach acid. So it's funny how now, I mean, we, we started uh, with, with this topic, but it, it has evolved into a bigger uh, systemic uh, concern, right? That if uh, you, you let Absolutely. something go and then eventually the body just kind of trickles down into other problems. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and you mentioned, you know, antacids, right? So antacids. So, so of course, you know, you get this symptom. And we think, oh, well, this is really uncomfortable. I need to get rid of it. So we go and take some Tums. We take some Rolaids. And that mm -hmm. helps to neutralize the stomach acid. But the thing is, is we want it acid. We, we don't right. want to shut that down. So we are making things worse, right? And similarly, um, proton pump inhibitors, which is a prescription drug that a lot mm -hmm. of doctors will provide. And these proton pump inhibitors actually stop the enzyme that produces stomach acid. So again, we're interfering with that. And some, some of you may even, if you're on say Nexium or Pantalock or Prilosec or even Zantac, and I have something to share with you about that. Zantac, you might notice that since you started taking that prescription, that your, your health has declined even further. You might notice you're losing your hair. You might notice that you're more tired and that you're developing more allergies. Again, and this has everything to do with the fact that that stomach, we want the acid. We don't want to shut it down. So the GERD, acid reflux, and heartburn is just a symptom telling you, hey, my stomach needs some attention. Hey, this isn't working great, and I'm not chewing, and so my digestive system is really impaired, and it's going to snowball into some major problems, you know? Um, and Zantac even is a over-the-counter prescription that Health Canada actually banned as of October 30th, 2019, because of uh, a link. Uh, there's a, a chemical in there that is in high concentrations, and it's a known carcinogen, and it's linked to cancer. Mm -hmm. So there's a clash, class action lawsuit right now with Health Canada against that pharmaceutical company. So, you know, there's a lot of dangers in these drugs, too. Right. So, um, you know, you might be wondering, well, what else am I going to do? Right. Mm -hmm. if I'm getting heartburn. What do I do? So uh, a little trick that you can do at home to identify if this is happening to you is start your morning off with a glass of water. Okay. So when you wake up in the morning, get about four to six ounces of uh, room temperature or warm water. In that warm water, take a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Just the baking soda in your fridge. Okay, put it in there, stir it up, let it dissolve. And then you're going to drink it. You're going to do this before you eat or drink anything else. And then you're going to sit back and wait. And I want you to wait about three minutes to see if anything happened. And what you want to see happen is whether or not you burp or belch within three minutes ideally right away. Now, if you do, great. Then that means that your stomach is, your acids are pretty good. If you don't, then there's a really good clue. You need some help in that department, that that stomach acid is too low and it's going to result in some of those issues. And then, uh, of, of course, from my point of view, uh, it's having your dentures assessed on a regular yes, basis. Uh, I usually do a yearly checkup or a recare appointment where I look at the mm -hmm. pattern of how bad or, or how little the wear of the teeth uh, is, is happening. Because at the end of the day, dentures are made out of acrylic and acrylic does wear out. Especially mm -hmm. we are constantly eating, you know, breakfast, lunch, dinner, there's snacks in between. Uh, th there's always, yeah. some sort of motion happening in the mouth, exactly. right? We're always eating. We're humans. We're meant to eat, right? Yeah. Uh, and of course, if you if your teeth are not uh, in, in a position to be uh, functional, then you're not going to enjoy your foods anymore. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 like, that's... And, and here's the thing. Guess what, Fernando? 
you probably already know this, but I don't know if everyone else is aware. There's no teeth in your stomach. No. <laughs> There's no teeth in your stomach. No, it starts definitely. here. You got to take care of your oral health. You've got yes. to take out it because it all starts here. There's a huge connection between your teeth and your oral health and your overall health because there's one tube in the body and it starts at the mouth and ends at the rectum and that is called your digestive system. So everything that happens in your body is relating to that system. So again, as you said, if, if you know, there is an ongoing care, because you got to stay on top of that even when you get your dentures, you have to stay on Correct. top of that and make sure that they're fitting really well and that you're taking good care of them and that they're doing it, their job for you so that you can improve the ability to start that digestive process with the mastication, with the chewing, right? So important to chew. Um, yeah, definitely three, three factors that mm -hmm. I always look at when, when I am uh, uh, doing uh, a denture. Uh, number one is obviously I got to make sure that there is function, that the dental function properly. And how does it function? Well, you have to be able to chew your food well. Right. Uh, number two is you got to have a good fit. If, you, if your dentures don't fit, they're loose, uh, well, of course, now you're going to keep your mind occupied on how to keep that denture uh, stable. And then, yeah. of course, now you're not going to be able to enjoy your foods, be able to chew properly uh, because right. you're preoccupied with something else. Yeah. Um, and then the last one being aesthetics. Uh, when, when we're speaking, we want to make sure that we look at that when we smile, that it, it looks very nice because yeah. uh, uh you know we all are a little bit vain yeah, well, it <laughs> so makes us feel we all good, like to right? look good we, exactly. we all want to feel good and and as you said too you know if they're not fit, fitting right then you might notice that you're avoiding certain foods yes right and that you're limiting your um, nutrition in terms of maybe you're eating the same food all the time because you're afraid there's some sense of anxiety or even when you go out into public and you're out with your friends and eating anything, um, you might be, you know, embarrassed that you can't eat other things because they're not fitting properly. So again, it's so, so important to make sure that you have uh, an expert like Fernando to make sure that everything's fitting properly and that you have the best care possible so that we can mitigate um, some of these issues. Now, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you'll agree that soup can only go so far. Soup can only go so far. <laughs> Although I can eat soup every day, honestly. Um, but, but, you know, there are some ways to help build up that stomach acid too. So I want to give you a tip um, how you can identify. Now that's a full, mm -hmm. not a foolproof um, DIY home test with the baking soda, but it does give you an indicator. And um, and so if you are finding that you're not burping and you're getting this sense of fullness, this indigestion, maybe you're constipated, um, you know, you're run down, fatigued, you have low B12, low iron, osteoporosis, um, heart disease, um, rheumatoid arthritis, all these conditions are associated with low stomach acid, uh, even rosacea, you know, the broken mm -hmm. blood vessels in your face. And so what you can do to help build up that stomach acid, and, and perhaps you can let us know, Fernando, if this is safe with dentures, is that I often recommend my clients um, start the day with some water with some lemon juice or apple cider vinegar okay. in it. And that acid helps, starts to prime the stomach to start to work better. And uh, you can drink that first thing in the morning. But of course, if you're concerned about tooth, teeth, uh, the enamel on your teeth, then you might not want the lemon juice, right? You could maybe drink to a straw. But uh, I also recommend that you add in some aloe vera juice. And the aloe vera juice coats the whole digestive tract. So it really is good to soothe and heal it if there has been irritation because that will affect your oral health and even vocal cords. Like I've had clients actually lose their voice from chronic acid reflux and heartburn, which will come back. We have reversed oh, it. You know, there's ways to reverse this through modifications in diet, through chew chewing really well and building up that acid. So there are treatments and things that we can do to, to recover from that. And as a result, 
you actually feel way better. You don't get bloated or gassy. Mm -hmm. Your energy goes up. You're absorbing nutrients from your food. Um, if you're taking vitamins, you're absorbing those. Even your prescription treads, you know, everything works better. You're able to have a bowel movement every day. You know, a lot of seniors struggle with that constipation. Mm -hmm. And so it's a really good way to, um, you know, the, the acid in the water, lemon juice or apple cider vinegar and some aloe vera, it's a really good way to kind of help nurture yourself and do that for about four weeks. You know, wow, okay. all you need is about, say, six to eight, six to eight ounces of water add in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar or lemon juice and one to two ounces of aloe vera juice. Drink that. So where, where would you get the aloe vera juice? Aloe vera juice you can buy at um, some grocery stores that uh, have a health food section in it. Uh, mm -hmm. Locally, something like Sobeys or Loblaws, or you okay. can go into a health food store and they will have it. It's widely available. Okay. And it has no flavor, really. It's and, it, and you know how good it is for your skin out on the outside. I imagine yeah. on the inside when it's really irritated, right? And good for uh, burns. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it soothes, it coats, and heals, right? Mm -hmm. And um, it's also very good for diabetics, by the way. This little tip it does help balance oh. up blood sugar. But, um, but so if if you right? if you actually have the aloe plant, mm -hmm. can you cut yes, it and I, then use that? I actually have clients who do that, Italian okay. ones actually. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so they take the aloe plant, they cut it up into wedges, and yeah. then they take the top and the bottom off, take a nice sharp knife carefully and slice it and then put it in the blender. So yeah, oh, okay. absolutely. You can okay. do that too. So that's and that, and that, would, that would be better, I guess, than the juice? because Yeah, it's, well, the it's, juice it's the is whole plant. leaf. The, the juice is whole leaf. Okay. It is the whole leaf. It's not the green right. stuff, it's the fleshy stuff. So yeah. they just blend that all up. So it is pure and it's organic and it's, yeah. So you can, either one, right? Um, Cause you'll need enough and, and do it every day for about uh, four weeks. And if you don't notice that those symptoms go away, that the white spots on your nails, maybe some of the ridges, um, the, the bloating, the belching, the constipation, the fatigue, um, if that doesn't go away, then it's time to reach out. Then it's time right. to reach out and perhaps work with a nutritional practitioner, someone who works with gut health like myself or someone else that can help you and identify what's right for you because we're all unique, right? And how can they get a hold of you, Nancy? Uh, so I am located right here in uh, Dunsford in the city of Corsa Lakes, and I offer consultations by phone, by video, and in office. You can reach out uh, by phone and give me a call. We can post that below, or you mm -hmm. can visit my website, which is my name, uh, Nancy, N-A-N-C-Y-E-S-T-E dot -E com, Nancy S -T -E com. And um, there's a way to set up a free call with me. So I encourage people to reach out and call me and so that we can go over what's going on with you, what have you tried, and is this the right fit for you? Right. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely going to try both uh, the, 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 the one in the morning with the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the baking soda, make sure yeah. to see if I have enough. Uh, yeah. And then I'm going to try the other one just in case if I don't have enough. Absolutely. <laughs> I had a client yeah. yesterday I was working with and um, she came in with a whole bunch of uh, chronic health issues. Young woman, she was in her 30s, but she's had issues for many, many years. She had to stop working five years ago because her health declined so so badly. And um, she did that test and found that uh, she had she did it three times because she didn't burp. And she was like, what's wrong with me? I should be burping. And she never <laughs> did. And um, but yes, we've done some additional testing in the office and discovered that, yes, uh, she does, in fact, have a very underactive stomach, which created a lot of other issues. Because, wow. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, that's, that's good. I mean, she, that's good that she went to see you because then you were able to uh, uh, figure this out. Uh, Absolutely. Right? Absolutely. And then, nice. That's amazing. That's yeah. amazing. Uh, and then for me, uh, I am in, uh, I, I practice out of Bob Cajun. Um, you can definitely give me a call. We can book a consultation appointment. Um, 
you don't have to really worry as much as you, you know, as, as dentists, because we don't create aerosols here at the clinic. Oh, uh, good to know. So, yeah. so it is, it is safer. Uh, and of course, we do have uh, uh, air purifiers at the clinic. Make sure that, you know, anything that it's it's airborne, it does get uh, uh, purified. I have made a a video uh, explaining some uh, stuff like this. Uh, oh, we'll, we'll post my YouTube channel as well. Yeah. Uh, so that people can uh, uh, see videos that I've done so far as well. Um, and we only accept one patient at a time. It is very rare when we have uh, my two chairs going. That's probably might be an emergency. But other than that, it's one patient at a time. Uh, mm -hmm. And of course, we clean before and we clean after you leave. Yeah. Um, so we, we, we take our, our, our uh, uh, safety measures extremely, uh, it's, it, they are extremely important to us and we, it, we're very concerned making sure that we keep you healthy while you yeah. visit us here at Cajun Dentry Clinic. So I am located at, uh, in Bob Cajun. Um, by all means, we'll post all my information as well uh, mm -hmm. so that if you need to contact me, we can then uh, have a consultation. And my consultations are at no charge. So that's fantastic. Uh, Excellent service. Yeah. Love it. Wonderful. So, so it's you. Thank, thanks yes, so it's much been for um, inviting me to chat with you today. And um, Fernando and I are hoping to, you know, help share more information with you so that you, everyone can become a little more aware and informed about their own health and provide you some, some real um, solutions, you know, some natural solutions to help uh, improve your overall health, your own immune system. And uh, even what the, we talked about today ultimately does improve your immune system. You know, we could probably talk all day about that, but uh, we'll chat another time and uh, we look forward to seeing you then. So post Thank any you, questions. Nancy. Yeah, and post any questions below for Fernando or I, if you have any questions about what we talked about today, and we'll be happy to get back to you and answer those.